Good morning, everyone. This is Marshall Giller bringing the morning comment for the 17th of September. Well, the market yesterday was dominated by positioning ahead of today's FOMC meeting. Uh, the Wall Street Journal's influential Fed reporter said he thought the committee would keep the phrase in its statement that rates will remain low for a considerable time after the Fed's bond buying program ends next month. But uh, the committee would qualify it somehow, either in the statement or during the press conference afterwards. Uh, then mid-morning U.S. time, a Chinese website reported that the government would supply additional liquidity to their five biggest banks to support the economy. Uh, commodities soared, especially copper and oil, and equity markets recovered as the global growth picture suddenly looked a bit better. Now, getting back to the FOMC, uh, today, clearly, if they drop the considerable time phrase, the dollar is likely to rise sharply. Uh, a substantial rise in the committee's average estimate for Fed funds would also be bullish for the dollar. In the press conference, Fed Chair Yellen could qualify the considerable time phrase by repeating something like her recent statement that if labor markets continue uh, to improve faster than anticipated, they might hike rates faster than anticipated too. Uh, that that uh, would also be seen as hawkish and would probably send that dollar higher. On the other hand, if she doesn't include such a statement and instead emphasizes the recent weak labor figures, that could be negative for the U.S. currency. Uh, now, how to, how to play the, the uh, FOMC meeting? Our studies show that people wanting to take a view should do it in dollar-yen, not in euro-dollar. Dollar-yen has been uh, more volatile than usual on FOMC days this year, whereas euro-dollar and sterling, or cable, have seen really only average ranges on FOMC days. Now, Aside from the FOMC, uh, today the Bank of England releases the minutes of its latest policy meeting and also the country's unemployment rate and average weekly earnings are coming out. Usually that data would be key for sterling, but uh, the day before the Scotland referendum, I expect the market will focus on the last few polls to be published. Sweden's Riksbank also releases the minutes of its September policy meeting uh, when it held the repo rate unchanged uh, despite the re recent return of deflation to Sweden. And back in the U.S., aside from the Fed, the U.S. CPI for August and the National Association of Home Builders Market Index for September are due out today. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on rnfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Giller, head of Global FX Strategy at INFX Global, wishing you solid trading.